So, um, Kieran, the, the, the term um, the term marketing um, invented um, by HubSpot. Um, so it only seems really appropriate to ask you, for, you know, your view on on sales and marketing alignment, and more broadly, how you see other departments fitting into that sort of that marketing concept. Yeah, it's a really good question, Paul. I think um, marketing as a term, it's it's not a new um, term. It's been around for quite some time now. However, I see that as being one of the most common challenges that businesses face. So I'll probably speak to you know forty to fifty businesses a week and by far that is the most common issue that creates friction in a business so having a marketing and a sales team that are sitting in silos almost in isolation that are working independently as opposed to working together towards the same common goal of growth really is just nonsensical in the day and age that we live because we all know how important collaboration is and when we have teams working together um, on both different sides, it creates a very synergistic effect. And by that, I mean having, you know, weekly meetings between marketing and sales where, you know, we're, we're kind of aligning on the same strategy, we're singing the same song. We both kind of have a good understanding in terms of, you know, what one hand is doing and, and what the other is as well. And always ensuring that there's consistency with that strategy. And it's, it's a bit bizarre that you do come across businesses that work in isolation because if marketing aren't talking to sales and sales aren't talking to marketing, how can we ever expect there to be a real outcome um, and growth for the business? So by having those teams working together on the same page and also working in the same system, having a CRM that can align both teams. So you know, if, if a lead is coming through from marketing, there's a definition around what that handover process looks like. And every business is going to be different. You know, the definitions around what might be a marketing qualified lead or a sales qualified lead needs to be agreed on by both parties. So there's agreement around when that lead will be handed from marketing to sales. Equally important on the other side, you know, sales need to have an SLA and an agreement in place with marketing to say, we will be contacting that lead within half an hour, two hours, making sure there's timely responses to those inquiries. So, you know, if someone is going to speak to two or three competitors, the business who responds fastest to that inquiry is much more likely to convert them into a customer, delivers a much better customer experience as well. So I think having agreed uh, not just targets and KPIs, but SLAs and agreements between marketing and sales is so crucial to making sure that the business is moving in the right direction.